Small purple worms problem? Yeah, yeah, horrible! They've been growing! Now they're these nasty snakes! Oh, that's nothing! You should see it when they turn into these large reptilian dragonfly crab things! That's when the party really gets started! Right! Oh! Whoa! This place smells worse than gassy! Shh, Harry! You'll hurt Gassy's feelings! Gassy's very sensitive about the whole smell thing. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I believe we have a job to do here. Really? <laughs> well, let's get to it. <laughs> I just made this mix yesterday. Since when does the genus evolve an immunity before it's exposed to the current mix of selenium? Look, guys, you're not helping here. Oil. Yeah, yeah, black gold, Texas tea. Big whoop, we're at an oil refinery. I know that, Harry. What I'm trying to say is, they're not immune to the selenium. It's the oil on their skin that's repelling the water base of the cylinder. Any suggestions on how to deal with them? Hey, maybe we can cover them with sand, like you do with the oil spills at my garage. This is a little different from the garage, Wayne. No, it isn't. Actually, Wayne, you're a genius. I am? Sand, everybody! There's gotta be sand around here somewhere. The good news is the sand works. So, what's the bad news? We're gonna need a lot more sand. That's close enough, Wayne. Let her rip. Good shot, Wayne! Nothing but net. Do you think that's enough sand, Dr. Kane? That ought to do it, kiddo. <laughs> And that's the game. Alienators 106, Genus Zip. Nada, the big goose egg. Harry! Look out! Find you! Didn't I tell you? The reptilian dragonfly crab kind of things are absolutely the worst. Good job, team. And your sand idea saved the day. Hey. So what do you think, Ira? About what? About some R&R. &R. You know, rest and recreation. New York is just a hop, skip, and a jump from here. We should get something more out of this trip than smelly genus samples. Wow, I've never been to New York. Well, that settles it. Wayne needs to see the city that never sleeps to experience all it has to offer. Museums, Yankee hmm. Stadium, Central Park, Madison Square Garden, delis, the Meadowlands, Broadway shows. Broadway shows? Yes! Human comedy and tragedy intricately woven together and accentuated by tuneful songs, swelling underscores, and heartbreaking lyrics. Oops. Huh? <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> My vote is for New York. <laughs> okay then, New York it is. You know, Lieutenant, I can't wait to tell General Woodman and Dr. Reed what a fan you are of Broadway musicals. Uh, or I could just not mention it uh, at all. Uh, Ever. Ooh, parking space. And there's even time on the meter? This is my lucky day. 
I'll be right back. The truck needs gas. I'll get tickets. What'll it be? Mets? Yankees? Knicks? Uh... Right. Broadway show. How could you forget? I'm pretty sure I saw a gas station a while back. There it is. It's okay, Gassy. It's just like the refinery smell. It's the gasoline. Don't worry, Gassy. There's no genus here. Oh. This your car? It's parked in a red zone on the sidewalk in front of a fire hydrant. Mm. Lady, is this your car? No. I mean, yes. I, I mean, no. Pick one, lady. It's either your car or it isn't. It's my car. I parked it over there. It moved somehow. <laughs> I know this little deli right near Madison Square Garden that makes the best corned beef sandwich. Excuse me. Anyone who knows New York knows the real delis are in Brooklyn. What do you think, Ira? Uh, I'm thinking Italian. I know a really great Italian place down in the village. Ready, Harry? You promised to show me around, remember? I'm on it, Wayne. Tell you what, you two do Brooklyn or Italian while I give Wayne the guided Harry Block tour of the Big Apple. There's a Big Apple here? Come on, Ira. Broadway awaits. <laughs> I guess I'll just go with Lieutenant Lucy. The best corned beef sandwich you're gonna find in this hemisphere. And the knishes, uh, woohoo! Don't get me started on the knishes. Uh, I don't think I can eat anymore. You're right, Wayne. Maybe we should eat later. Ah! Uh, Sorry, miss, but this show is all sold out. It can't be! We've seen every show in town except this one. Every show? Really? I don't believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Don't worry. This is New York. There's always something going on. Huh? huh? <laughs> What did I tell you? Ira, LT, you're not gonna believe this, but... Genus-infested cars are running rampant all over the city, terrorizing crowds of helpless people? How'd you know that? Because they went that way. Over there, Wayne! <laughs> the brakes! Stop it! What happened, Wayne? Oh, I don't know. 
the brakes, they wouldn't work, and then they did. Just calm down, Cassie. Yes, we know. The genus affected cars are all over the place. Not for long, if we can help it. Doc, it's using the body of the car to protect itself. We'll have to get inside. Let's just open the door. LT, take the devolver. <sighs> <laughs> Talk about your toxic emissions. Gas tank. Maybe we can get in through there. It should feed right into where the engine used to be. That's a perfect plan, Wayne. <gasps> sure, if it works. Harry and I'll run interference. You two fill the tank with selenium. <laughs> There. Now it's just a car again. With a cracked manifold, punctured radiator, and a thrown rod, this baby isn't going anywhere for a while. Hmm. <sighs> There's no telling how many cars were infected. Literally. No heat signature? Worse. Too many heat signatures. The heat from the engines is overwhelming the heat signatures of the genus. You looking for show tunes? No. Traffic reports. Even in New York, a car walking around on purple tentacles is newsworthy. And we're getting reports of a driverless SUV making a mess over by the fish market. Ha! Genus! Hit it, Wayne! This is not a good time for engine trouble. Hold on, Dr. Kane. This old truck hasn't let us down yet. See? What I tell you. Talk about blood and engine. Well, we're not getting any more reports about cars with legs. Finally, good news. Looks like we did our job. But we are hearing about four crazy people tearing around the Midtown area in a fire truck. Hey, we made the news. <laughs> Wayne, where exactly did you gas up? Uh, some station across town. I got a really great price. Wow. Uh, call me crazy, but something tells me this is a bad thing. <laughs> You're definitely not crazy. Everyone out! Now! It's got our truck! Never mind that! It's got our devolving gear! We're weaponless! Guys, it's wearing 500 gallons of selenium on its back. That's got to be to our advantage. Come on, let's go for a ride. Huh? <laughs> She's a genius, but don't tell her I said so. The tank's in the center. Here it comes. Jump! My poor baby. Wayne, you didn't get gas at an osculant oil station, did you? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. The same as the refinery? But we stopped that outbreak. Oh, somehow we must have missed the truck. Hey, taxi, over here! Woohoo! Taxi! Well, there's no time to worry about that now. Let's move. Do you know where the nearest osculant oil station is? I sure do. Hop in. I know a shortcut. Yeah, I've heard all about New York cabbies and their shortcuts. We'll probably wind up in Connecticut. Hey, that really was a shortcut. Is this the one, way? I'm not sure. But yeah. 
Entering the game for the genus, a big, nasty, walking environmental disaster. That looks like immunity to me in record time. Follow that gas station. Hey, I was gonna say that. Never heard that one before. And I've heard them all. Follow that truck. Follow that cab. Follow that just truck. Right. So what now, Ira? Do we need more sand? Sand won't help us with this one. It's evolved and it's incorporated gasoline into its body chemistry. What we need is... A product that breaks down or removes petroleum deposits? Yeah! Yeah, that would be perfect! It would help us devolve it from the inside. Ah, that's easy. Engine cleaner. I use it all the time. Sir, we need to get to the nearest auto parts store. No problem. Woodman's gonna pay for this, right? I still haven't been reimbursed for all those pine-scented car fresheners we bought in France. Hey, come on, Harry. We're not just saving the world here. We're saving New York City. We need to locate that monster. Empire State Building. I heard on the radio there's a monster climbing it. Figure it's yours. Good point. Empire State Building it is. No, police headquarters. What, you want backup? No, a helicopter. Get in! Hey! You can't take that! Don't worry. I'm authorized. It's okay! We're chasing a gas station! for a high spot to take off. If it gets to the top and completes its evolution, we'll lose it. Not an option. You ready, Harry? Suited up and ready to play, LT. Can you get any closer? I can't get a shot. Oh, you wouldn't think it would be this hard to knock a gas station off the Empire State Building. We're gonna have to get under it. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Lieutenant. And that gas station looks like it's gonna fall apart. There's no other way, Wayne. Harry, it's up to you. The bottom of the night and the bases are loaded. Now you're talking my language, LT. Let's hit this one out of the park. So, did you get it? I don't know. I can't tell. Never a dull moment in this town. So, who's hungry? The food here will make you glad we came to New York, even if we did almost get routed by a gas station. And the best thing about this place is that nobody knows it's even here. Be about 40 minutes for a table, huh? Well, you're right, Harry. I am so glad we came to New York. It's worth the wait, really. Oh, Gassy! Uh, a couple of tables just open up. Well, imagine that. <laughs> 